Eh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Okay, I know what's going. All right. All right, and stick it. Eh. All right. Hey everybody, how's it going today? So, the weather finally warmed up in the upper Midwest and we have a nice 70 degree day, almost spring, which means it is a perfect day for rocketry. So we just built a new one. This is the Estes Odyssey. It's gonna fly on C engines and D engines. We put a C11 III in there for first flight. We're gonna get that going. We haven't, the way that you're supposed to build it. Here, why don't you hang on to that, partner? Is to make it look like this but you know what we had to do our own little sci-fi feel did our own colors a little bit of nato olive some blue and some yellow and then like a bluish gray color and then we didn't want to use the water slide decal so we just kind of cut our own decals on mama's cry cut maker and we have some nice reflective foil vinyl pretty cool stuff first thing we got to do though is we have to pack our chute and put recovery wadding in there and we have a C11 III in there. So we're gonna see how it goes. It's just a Thursday night, so it'll just be one launch. Okay, so usually we have about a dozen rockets when we come out to the field and we do a lot of the work inside the house before anything. So we're gonna put our C11 III in there. It's a brand new engine from Estes. We'll go ahead and let's work on our chute. So what it comes with is a plastic 18 inch chute, but you know what? We didn't feel so good about uh, the plastic. We never do. <laughs> so we're, we put an 18 inch, I think it's from Top Flight Recovery if I remember correctly. Could be from somebody else. So you basically fold up your chute so all the lines are straight. Okay. And then we use cellulose insulation. I know you don't like this stuff, it's dusty, yeah. So rule of thumb, one and a half to three times the body tube. You kind of break it up a little bit. And this stuff works great. You buy a big old block of it for like $5. We're just gonna put that in there. We're getting the back of mama's car all filthy. Okay. We're just putting it right in there. Not too tight, because you want the ejection charge to actually launch this stuff away. We're gonna take something. We're just gonna push it in there, unrestricted. We're gonna do one more small handful in there. Stuff does get pretty messy, but you know what? So the Estes recovery wadding looks fine, works fine. Uh, we have some of the Q-Jet recovery wadding here. I'll show you what we do with that in a second. We're just gonna shake it in there, make sure it's not too tight. I like to take something and just kind of push it in there because we don't want it to shoot to be too tight when we put that in there either. Okay, we're gonna unfold one of these sheets and have it ready. You wanna hang on to this for me, partner? Just hang on to that. Right now the wind is perfect. So we have all our lines lined up straight. We're gonna go ahead and put our cords in there. We're we'll fold it over once. Put our cords in there again. Nice and flat. And this will make it easy for that chute to deploy. Like I said, we may want to put a 15 in here, but being that this is a first flight and we don't have a lot of wind today, I'm not too worried about losing it. All right, buddy. So then we're just gonna take our recovery wadding and wrap it around the chute for a little extra Let's do a little more, huh? Mm -hmm. For it's no fun having holes blown in your chute. For just a little extra protection. And then we'll stick that chute in there. Make sure it's not tight. There we go. Nothing's real tight at all. Go ahead and put our shock cord in there. Okay, it's always nerve wracking when we just built something. We don't mind crashing on our fourth or fifth attempt. 
but crashing on the first time out, that's no fun, right? Bummer. Yeah, it happens. It's part of rocketry. So now I'm going to take my little nippers, get our engine plug. There's our igniter. We'll get that ready. Stick it in there. Make sure it's in there. Spread the leads. And that's it. We are ready to fly. All right, let's get flying. All right, our Odyssey is on the launch pad. We're just going to unroll our controller and get ready to launch. make some little adjustments here. We have just a little bit of wind coming out of the northwest, which is not bad at all. All right, buddy, let's get this controller set up all the way back here. So these were a little rusty. I had to clean them up with some sandpaper. All right, our leads are hooked up. Ow. You ready? Yeah. All right, buddy, go ahead and get the key in. This is gonna be the Odyssey first launch. Count it down, buddy. There she is. Yeah, it was a good thing we put an 18 in there. I think a 15 would have been too fast. Awesome, go get it, man. That was a great flight for our first flight. Excellent. Everything's all there. Awesome, man. It was a good thing Dad changed his mind on the 15-inch parachute. I think the 18 is perfect for that one. Beautiful. It was a nice landing. Did you have fun? All right, man. We got homework to do. No, you don't? Are you sure? Okay, we'll make some homework. No, we won't do that. All right, man. Let's go back home. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah, see ya.